Looking to save money on your next smartphone? Forget the flagship and check out these excellent mid-range options. Today's top-tier smartphones are undeniably desirable, but we don't all have massive wads of cash burning holes in our pockets, and the good news is, there's no need to spend four figures to get a smartphone that combines top performance with gorgeous design. And also these smartphones will look and feel as slick as their flagship counterparts, they may actually outperform them in key areas. So, here's our guide to what to look for in the best mid-range smartphones in 2020. At any point of time, if you'd like to buy the smartphone, there would be discounted links in the description below. On number 6 at $660, we have Oppo Find X2 Lite. The Oppo Find X2 Lite runs on Qualcomm's current mid-range processor of choice, the Snapdragon 765G CPU. Together with a generous 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage, it's a very well specced out phone. The Find X2 Lite is also a fast mover when it comes to network performance, thanks to 5G connectivity. It has a good camera for that sort of money, you can expect good quality shots and decent lighting. And that's precisely what the Oppo Find X2 Lite provides. The night mode does a good job at brightening low light shots, but it doesn't retain an awful lot of detail, and extremely low light scenarios tend to descend into extremely noisy territory. Oppo seems especially keen to highlight the Find X2 Lite's Ultra Steady Video 2.0 video stabilization system, even going so far as printing Ultra Steady under the camera module. The software is fast and customizable, but still a little ugly the battery life has two-day potential with fast 30W charging. The Oppo Find X2 Lite has admirable stamina. Should you buy the Oppo Find X2 Lite? The Oppo Find X2 is a solid option in a mid-range smartphone class that suddenly became a whole lot tougher with the arrival of the other mid-range for the same price. While the Lite can't beat Apple's affordable hotshot in terms of performance or software experience, Coloros isn't the optimal take on Android 10. It does pack a larger, sharper OLED display and 5G connectivity. It's just those cheaper Android alternatives that make this a harder sell. Meanwhile, its battery life and speedy charging inspire a great deal of confidence when heading out and about. In short, as a $600 pick, the Oppo Find X2 Lite is as steady as one of its video captures. Therefore we have it at number 6. At number 5 we have the Realme X50 Lite. For just $299, X50 Lite is a very good option for people under a tight budget. Realme X50 Lite smartphone runs on Android V10 Q operating system. The phone is powered by octa-core processor. It runs on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G chipset. It has 6GB RAM and 128GB internal storage. Realme X50 Lite smartphone has a VIPS LCD display. It measures 163.8mm x 75.8mm x 8.9mm and weighs 192 grams. The screen has a resolution of 1080x2400 pixels and 401 pi pixel density. It has an aspect ratio of 29 and screen-to-body ratio of 83.93%. On camera front, the buyers get a 16MP f2.0 primary camera 2MP depth camera and on the rear, there's an 48 plus 8 plus 2 plus 2MP camera with features like digital zoom, auto flash, face detection, touch to focus. It is backed by a 4200 mAh battery. Connectivity features in the smartphone include Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Pro, GPS, feature, Volt, NFC and more. Dare to leap. At number 4 and $450 we have the Moto G 5G. Moto G 5G Plus smartphone runs on Android V10 Q operating system. The phone is powered by octa-core processor. It runs on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 765 chipset. It has 4GB RAM and 64GB internal storage. Moto G 5G Plus smartphone has a VIPS LCD display. It measures 168mm by 74mm by 9mm and weighs 207 grams. The the screen has a resolution of 1080 by 2520 pixels and 409 ppi pixel density. It has an aspect ratio of 21 to 9 and screen to body ratio of 84.54%. On camera front, the buyers get a 16MP primary camera, 8MP camera, and on the rear, there's an 48 plus 8 plus 5 plus 2MP camera with features like digital zoom, auto flash, face detection, touch to focus. It is backed by a 5000 mAh battery. Connectivity features in the smartphone include Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, Volt, NFC and more. 
For $479, we've got the Apple iPhone SE and it stands at number 3. The iPhone SE 2020 is an unusual device, combining a throwback style with some modern internal components. It's virtually identical to the iPhone 8 from the outside, and there aren't many phones these days that are as slim and light. That also means the screen is small, at 4.7 inches, and battery life isn't great. You get the modern A13 Bionic processor which is extremely powerful, but only a single rear camera. The main attraction for many people will be iOS, which is smooth and slick, with multiple years of updates guaranteed. Apple also targets this phone at those who want to upgrade from an older model to continue using iCloud services. The rear camera takes great stills and video in the daytime, but low light performance is disappointing. Noteworthy features include wireless charging and an IP67 water resistance rating. On number 2 and $250, we've got Samsung Galaxy A51. The Samsung Galaxy A51 is one of the first budget phones to sport Samsung's flagship grade Infinity O display cutout. It's a light phone and easy to handle too. It features a Super AMOLED panel for bright and punchy colors. The phone is powered by the Exynos 9611 octa-core sock, which is a little dated and not too powerful for a mid-range phone in 2020. Overall performance is decent but could be better had Samsung used a more powerful chip. This is also one of the first Samsung phones to have a dedicated macro camera. We found the image quality to be good. Low light image quality was a little disappointing, and so was the quality of the front camera in less than ideal light. The 4000 mAh battery offers a decent day-long battery life, and there's 15 watt fast charging too. Finally, in number 1 and $450, we've got the OnePlus Nord. The OnePlus Nord is a new budget offering from OnePlus, which manages to deliver a similar Android experience as the OnePlus 8, but at a more affordable price. OnePlus has kept all the staples such as the AMOLED display, warp charge fast charging, and a big battery in the Nord. However, it has made some cuts when it comes to the sock and the build quality. The OnePlus Nord still has glass on the back, but instead of a metal frame, it's plastic. The sock used is the Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G, and not an 800 series chip as we're used to seeing. However, the Nord does support 5G, which is a cool bonus. As an overall package, it's really hard to find fault with the OnePlus Nord. App and gaming performance is good, it captures good photos and videos in daylight, and the display supports HDR10+. Low light image quality suffers a bit, but that's pretty much this phone's only major weakness. Battery life is very good, and the single speaker gets decently loud. One impressive feature of the OnePlus Nord is its ability to shoot selfie videos at 4K, 60fps, which is something even the OnePlus 8 and 8 Pro can do. So that would be it for today, and hope you like our video. At any point of time, if you want to buy these smartphones, you have the link in the description below. Please share and subscribe and please don't forget to hit the notification bell for new and updated videos in the future. So until next video, take care and goodbye.